Welcome everybody to our prayer journey with my toad. I want to continue on our journey here, praying for our nation to have a great renewal, a great revival, and a great awakening. That people would flock back to God. Are you praying to that end? I hope so. It starts with personal and corporate repentance, and I hope to see that in the coming years. Let me read something I was reading today. Your politicians are rebellious and the companions of these. Everyone loveth gifts. They follow after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither do the cause of the widow come to them. This was not written to today's paper. This was written in the book of Isaiah back in the day of Israel's fall, prior to them being taken over by a foreign nation and being dispelled. This is the state that we're in today. Do you see our politicians? Are they not rebellious? They don't stand with for right. If they did, they would stop or control the border in the right way. There are kids pouring over that are being taken and sold into slavery. Believe it or not, it happens. And there's been bust that I have seen in local news, but you never see it on the national news. I wonder how many children are being sold into slavery from our borders. No one even knows they're in the country. Isn't that a horrible thing? How about this? The other day watching on a TV show, I heard somebody say that these two senators that did not want to vote the way they did were undemocratic and they did not honor democracy because they weren't voting the way they wanted them to. I thought democracy was the person gets to pick the way he wants to vote. How about this one? I was shocked to read this this morning. But this morning I read that the school boards around the country wrote to the President of the United States and asked him to consider that the school parents that are fighting against the CRT movement would be considered domestic terrorists, which means to take away all of their rights as citizens and put them on, under the microscope as if they had done something wrong just because of their speaking out. Is this the America we want to you know, live in? We cause this. This is why we need to repent, get right with God, whatever we're doing wrong, and there are things I do wrong. Get them right. And corporately repent. Recognize the sins of the past that we did. And then make a way of repentance. Praying to God, asking Him to show us the right way to get right. Not to allow these politicians to follow the money not to allow them to judge for their own pocketbooks, for their own political power, but pray them to move in the right direction, either by the heart of God or by force of God. You know, I don't know, you, you could say everything looks hopeless, Mike. There's nothing we can do, and I don't believe that. I really do believe in the power of prayer, prayer but it has to come from righteous lips. And I know I f fall short every day. Let's confess those sins, get them out of the way, and keep praying to God. And here's what we can do. This is the re remedy that God gives to Isaiah in that same uh, book. And in Isaiah 1, 23, was the first verse I read. Here in Isaiah 18, he tells him, 118, he tells him this. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. That's that repentance. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white as snow. God can clean them all. In fact, he stained Jesus with his blood on our behalf. If you don't know the Lord, in the body of this description, I have a recipe that you can get washed as white as snow. Check that out. And the whole behavior pattern starts when we trust in Jesus, 
or get right with Jesus and ask him to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and we start to walk in the right direction. I hope we do that today. We repent, we pray, and we see our nation changed. If you like this video, please share it, hit the like button, and tell somebody about Jesus. Until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.